science man is back in the town Always something cool So stick around and after this short intro You will see Do try this segment with Mr. G Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home I'm your host Mr. G and Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. Well, what's going to be so extraordinary about today's experiment? What's extraordinary is a candle flame might not respond in the way you think it should to outside forces. What are we going to need to get started? We're going to need a candle, place it onto a plate. I'm using a paper plate. I'm just going to be careful not to knock it over and catch my paper plate on fire. You might want to use ceramic for safety's sake. And we're going to need a lighter, and we're going to light our candle. We're also going to need a large clear container that you can see into. Now hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on here. I'm going to move this a little bit closer, and I'm going to move myself a little bit closer. And we're going to show you, what I'm going to show you here is to start with, we can see that the candle's burning and we can see the flame moving upward. We also know that the flame responds to wind and various other forces. Now there's a... One of Newton's laws, one of his scientific laws, states that bodies in motion tend to stay in motion while bodies at rest tend to stay at rest. Now that law is going to be coming into play with what you're about to see happen here to this candle flame. Now I'm not going to tell you exactly why what you're about to see happen, what you're about to see happen is happening, but I want you to try to figure it out. And if you think you know, post a comment or write to me and let me know what you think as to why what is about to occur is going to occur. To start with, if we take the candle flame, I've talked long enough and I'm letting this candle flame get a little higher, if we take our tall candle flame and we slide the plate from side to side, the flame responds the way you might expect it to. It leans away from the direction that we're sliding it because it doesn't want to take off and be in motion Actually, the air around it doesn't want to, so the air around it is pushing it back. Just as we would think. Now, if we place a clear container over our candle, watch what happens. You would expect the flame to stay straight up, but it doesn't. It leans towards the direction that we're pushing it. Let me get rid of some of the wax in that candle to make that flame even higher so that we can see this even closer. There we go. Now watch this. If we go quickly, there we go. The flame, when it starts to be pulled along, or when I start to pull the plate here, the flame leans the direction the plate's moving. Let's do that one more time. Very, very strange indeed. Not the way you would expect that flame to behave. I'll slow it down just a little bit for you so that you can actually see that when I start the movement of the plate, it does lean toward the direction that the plate's moving. But why is this? Hmm, think a little bit and get back to me on it. I hope you had a great time today on Do Try This at Home with our cool flame experiment. I'm Mr. G. See you next time right here on Do Try This at Home. Something else you're going to need? You're going to need a large 